You're right. You know, you know what? You're right. Yeah. Who's the people that use Bumble? I don't, so I wouldn't even I, be on there. I wouldn't know. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't be on here looking to uh, for this fucking uh, pink-haired pixie. Um, I was gonna say yeah, pink-haired elf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some of the photos I selected to have on there, going with this fun mini skirt. I also added this horse sweater because we literally cannot hold hands. Bumble has a feature called interest badges and my date and I both love running. So we're going for a hike and what better earrings to wear for a hike. Added a few little hair bows. I was also able to see that my date loves baking. And so I'm going to go with this She's cookie. Thoughtful. Huh? thoughtful. I think I thought you were just going to say awful, which I agree with. Um, <laughs> but she is thoughtful, I guess. Thoughtful. She's wearing uh, uh, pieces of a lettuce for after she be, uh, after she's mauled by a fucking bear. Uh, something for the rabbits to, just... to come behind the bear. Not, and gnaw not, on. not my cup of tea, but, you know, somebody out there. Hey, I would talk to her. I would be interested in her. Uh, I'm not saying it would be my cup of tea or that it would go very far. But she and I'm sure this is what she's going for. She's intriguing in a way. You know, she'll, she'll sit there and say, hey, you know what? I saw that he likes beef jerky. Uh, so I brought him a I have four pound bag earrings. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I mean, true, true. And I mean, look, bag. she has a new leg warmers to stay warm and platform shoes because I love to catfish about my height. Vintage shades. Sometimes I wonder though, what the fuck is? So she has her own fit? style, but it's like, fit? are you just literally throwing random? Shit it's are the final touch, and here is the final look for my Bumble date today. All right, so she steps off the bus on next. Next. Oh, you're giving her the next right away. Okay. But I, man. I always think it's so important to be yourself, Again. especially on a first date. So sometimes you just kind of make your wish me luck. <laughs> Get ready with me for a. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. I listen. I, I wouldn't want to waste her time. You know, she <laughs> oh, she, yeah. she she deserves more than me. Oh, okay. okay you're yeah. just not enough. I'm just, just not, not enough for I'm a woman like enough. that. Okay. <laughs> um, again, there there's oh, someone out there for everyone, shit. and you know, I Hopefully. I love her being herself. That's that's authenticity at its finest. I do love that she felt comfortable to be herself. But I mean, to dress yourself yeah. is like. But I mean, again, it, some people love it. Are you it's pro? Artsy. Something I've been seeing a lot. Uh, on some of the, honestly on instagram uh is some people advocating bullying how do you feel about that I'm just cool. kind of curious bullying literally so like if you click on a lady's if like you click on her comments i'm sure they're bullies no you, well not even that but there'll be people that are like bring bullying back yeah yeah like this is yeah, why we yeah, need bullying yeah, like, in school yeah like that like the guy in the fucking like minotaur man you yeah. know, people in his comments i'm sure are like what the fuck is going on somebody should have bullied the fucking uh goat out of this guy so 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 the humorous side of me yeah understands that and it's funny okay but then but then the other side of me goes hey listen i'm talking about legitimately i might yeah, talk about no. a funny so story. so okay. legitimately no okay again what's the point why do they you're only going to bully them because they're weird to you because they're not you well and okay. they're different than you so then well, it's, hold on. Well, we so, gotta, so hold on well let's pick let, on them i want to make sure that we're having a uh a back and forth yeah the you tell me <laughs> well, I mean, it's just like, so the lady that's wearing the fucking lettuce earrings, that's not just like, she's she's weird to you. Like, I think that's almost like universally we can look at that and be yes. like, that's really odd. Now, she's not she's not hurting anybody on one end, I exactly. guess. Um, Would I look at yeah. Lauren and be like, dude, what the fuck is that? Yes. Would you accept her for let us hear <laughs> Listen, listen, Lauren, Lauren would know. She would see her and then look at my face because she would know that like something something is coming out of my mouth. I'm going to say something yeah. as a joke. Obviously not to hurt to hurt her feelings, but we're maybe not to her. Yeah. Oh, no. just too Lauren and they're too, too her her behind her back. <laughs> it sounds right. horrible, but again, <laughs> it's a lighthearted joke that yeah, it's way nicer I, to yeah. do that. Okay. <laughs> it's, but no, I don't think that, that you go out and ruin someone's day. Let them be them. Like, yeah. like again, like, and yeah, I, I, again, that's just me personally. I was on the say about mm -hmm. fucking everything. So oh, it's yeah. like, yeah, I, but, um, I don't have a problem with it. I, I I I don't think that people should bully at all. I again, that's kind kind of like. Do you think you've have you been bullied? Uh, yeah. Okay. So have you? Has there been any utility to it for you in your life? So I mean, obviously, it's not pleasant. No, I've been bullied as well. It was never pleasant. Me. Okay. Well, oh, well. So from my perspective, I can think of times that, um, through bullying, I think it's it's a certain level of like adversity there that has um been it's it's helped create character in a way you know like character development like i said i wouldn't i would never want that to happen to my daughter and make my fucking heartbreak if i saw my daughter being bullied so i don't think that it's 
on its face on its own a good thing but when if i'm if i'm looking at it critically and looking at these people's uh what they're saying and trying to uh, take it seriously um i could see that there is some like societal utility to it though um as far as like you know like with how people dress i mean that's one thing that's kind of silly um so teasing them for that but just as far as like certain behaviors i don't know i'm trying to think of like well, i don't know somebody runs around and acts like a dinosaur like stepbrother style it, like should that person be bullied out of that behavior or no, should that be behavior just, not be addressed and just let them act like a just dinosaur? let them live in because okay okay so yeah. why would they be acting like a dinosaur there's there's clearly some some okay. disconnect from the consciousness of wanting to conform and be quote unquote normal right yeah. so obviously there's going to be something to that so again just just let them be there's a kid mark in in the high school that with naruto run and all that dude genius in math so he used to draw like like uh, pictures for girls okay. like uh these these two girls that were uh water girls for the football team he would she would draw uh like dragon ball z them as Dragon ball z characters or pokemon for them mm. stuff like that cool and really cool yeah and then and you had people who would like grab them and like make fun like grab the pictures make fun of them for it like because why are you giving it to the girl like they're not going to go for you and it's kind of like why does it fucking matter yeah like it, he's not bothering anybody you obviously know she's not going to do anything like it's just him, like yeah. like actually coming out of his shelf for once, mm -hmm. and it's like, and that's kind of where like the anti bullying thing is. It's like, hey man, let people be them, get out of their shell. You, the, the, the cool crowd, which again, I was part of the popular kids, right? Like, mm -hmm. we get to be ourselves. We get to be exactly who we are. Nobody really fucks with us. You're gonna have like a little bit of bullying, like football wise. Like you're you're a freshman. You're gonna get you're gonna get hazed. Yeah. But um, as far as just like like making comments, like uh, like kind of like like poking fun i mean i think as a parent you kind of should do that so as a as for, for schooling i think we probably would agree on this a lot of what schooling is meant to do is to prepare you for uh like work really i mean more than anything like to prepare you to be a uh person in society that contributes and like can work alongside people and shit um i think part of that and you know <sighs> I like people's individuality, but like when we're talking about, uh, I don't think the drawing thing is necessarily the same because that's legitimately a skill. So, I mean, people were probably teasing him about that, not for any legitimate reason, because there isn't like, like it's not because drawing's not practical in the normal world. It's because kids are probably like jealous of it, his skill at drawing or just want to be an asshole to him. But for example, him running around like a fucking Naruto character, maybe that could have been addressed a little bit because in normal society, yeah, you can't run around like if you're at work or if you're at uh, if you're just on the streets if somebody runs through like fucking naruto and bumps into me you're gonna get some actual real life static from like somebody like me maybe where i'm like <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you now all of a sudden you realize you're not in the hidden leaf village now all of a sudden <laughs> you're on the street and you're with a guy in fucking reality that in reality wants to choke you fucking to death. yeah well, <laughs> well one there's you know, there's teachers okay faculty sure. okay so so there are adults so stop so them saying stop instead of bullying you yeah want them to say stop like, doing that like yeah or um I mean, yeah, I, I, again, it, it doesn't matter if he's running around. You have to bully and get their kids. So what the fuck does yeah. it matter? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, he's going to grow out of it. But again, like like I am Parker's harassment, I guess. Like I like poke fun at some things. Obviously, there's a fucking line. Yeah. You never wanted to like like kill his self-esteem. Yeah. But like dude, he's actually a really good dresser. Like he stands and dresses himself. And it's really good. And it took a couple of times him putting something on be, me being like, are you sure that's what you want to wear? Yeah. I'd be like, hey, look, man. I mean, if you want to do that, then that's yeah. fine. Well, now, why not just let him wear whatever? Now, and I thought about that because yeah. I'm killing his like, like we must do. But it was just saying that, hey, like, said, man, that doesn't really match. If you want to match, you might want to change. If well, if not, if you don't care, then you don't care. Okay, question. You guys are going out for dinner. Uh, he, let's say he wants. So he wants to dress as Superman, and, uh, and it matches. At, at ten years old. Sure, ten. I guess. Sure. No. And again, so now, 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 if he has some kind of disability, I would. Well, what if he's uh, twenty? I would again. If he, he has either. a disability, I'd no. Have what a if he doesn't have a disability? No. no then why? No. Again, I, it's the exact same thing we're talking well, about here. I guess this twenty. Lady I guess twenty. I don't know. Okay. I guess twenty. I guess twenty. Do what you want, dude. Like, <laughs> like, like, you're you're an adult. Do that's what the fuck you want. If that's his individuality, yeah, like you you're want. saying. That but uh, but yeah, I tell you, I'm like, dude, you need to put some clothes on. Like, we're going somewhere. And again, if he doesn't want to match, he doesn't want to match, and that's you. That's your. Like that's your thing, but it's like you know, th there's time and place. You got to obviously teach common fucking sense sure. as a parent. But it's like, no, I do think the parents though, you should kind of pick on your kids a little bit, help toughen them their skin because yeah, like you said, in the real world, you're going to have 
times where people test you. You're going to have yeah. times where people disrespect you. You're going to have to be able to, to deal with that. But as far as like, like a school standpoint, no, I don't think that people should just be like, hey, listen, son, you go to school, you need to pick on these fucking kids because they need to be toughened up. It's yeah, like, I don't no. think stuff like that, but that's almost like kind of like it naturally happens in a way. You have kids who's comes from a family that maybe is like maybe their dad is a asshole bully. So then mm -hmm. they kind of like reflect some of that. That should also be addressed. Yeah, and as, then also, I think that does, by the abuse. way, abuse. I think. Well, no, I'm saying I think that does, by the way, those kids who are bullies, they end up at some point in their life coming across a kid that like by me, there's plenty of times that kids bullied me. And then because I had went through the adversity of being bullied, not knowing what to say, whatever the fuck might have happened. Then by the time they do bully me and I've been bullied for three years now, I'm fucking on top of it. Now I'm bullying them. And I'm all here. Yeah. <laughs> Lauren, did, did he really? Well, this one right here, by the way. Uh, Flu Shy, he says, I hope kids bully my son to stop putting his goddamn hands in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, this is, I know you're joking, but like to a certain extent, I think this brings up another interesting point, which is like some things that you say to your kid, they're not going to take the same way yeah, as they take yeah. from their peers. Yeah. It, so and where, that's fair. Yeah. So where, like I said, I, I don't like but is bullying. That bullying? Sometimes, sure. Like, I don't I mean, think that's bullying. Okay. Well, I mean, I think. Okay, so let's just use the example of your son wears the Superman outfit. He goes to school at 10. You wouldn't think it's acceptable to go to dinner in a Superman outfit. Let's say he goes to school in a Superman outfit and kids decide to say something to him about it, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Is that not bullying? Because you're saying this isn't bullying. So it, do you find the line where, where it no where longer is, becomes bullying? Yeah, if it is, yes. If it does have how malicious is, is, is it? Yeah. All, all fair, like, like, is it all fun and games? Is it like something like sincere, like, hey, listen, like, like what she's putting out here? Thanks for just outing Parker. Yes, he's so fucking eats his boogers. Well, I mean, you literally Dude. just said who it was, brother. Yeah. Well, and, and, like, then, and then, and then, and then, I you always, him, really. <laughs> I, I, I always fucking yell him, like, like, do your fucking gross yeah. quit. Yeah. Now, yeah, I, I hope that if he keeps doing it and and does it in school, like a fucking girl, or someone goes like, like you're nasty, and then he realizes yeah. that like. Hey man, like I can't put boogers in my fucking mouth. It's disgusting. Yeah, but why not? Once again, if you're just being yourself, I'm going off your I think I I mean I'm on the level of yeah, I think like maybe certain certain times in certain cases that bullying has a utility to it. Yeah. You're not, and so that's why I'm, I just want to challenge the way that you're thinking because I think all of this kind of could apply. If you're gonna say lady with the let if it's not hurting anybody, that's the that's the part that you got to where you're like at that point i don't care yeah, so if he's again, eating his boogers he's not hurting anybody i don't even know if he's hurting himself no again I'm, I'm talking about like like the comments so like yeah we know bullying leads to a lot of the mass shootings that were from bullying a lot of kids kill off like like like, like hurting themselves is due to bullying and, but, but we also know just from our own experience and we can just, i think it's fair to assume that this is probably still the same we know Far more kids get bullied and don't kill themselves. Far yes. more kids yes. get, bully, get bullied yes. and whatever. I mean, honestly, far most... more people drive a car without mm -hmm. a seatbelt and don't die. But but sure. because of people dying and get thrown out of the vehicle, we, we make an emphasis to wear your seatbelt. Sure. So, yes, we're going to like, like I get I get I get mm -hmm. that. But at the same time, it's like we, we obviously need to look at like how to stop the tragedy. Mm -hmm. And we look at, hey, let's the way that kids treat each other is the way that all this is. Where do abusive parents come from? A lot yeah. of times they were abused as kids or, hey, like they were put in the corner as a kid growing up. And then now they look at their kids as, hey, now I have someone that I can put that, in the corner. Well, I mean, abusive I mean, people. I don't just, even think, there's just all these different ways. Well, hold on, because I, I think that you make an interesting point, but I don't think it's that like black and white. We're like, oh, well, now I have somebody put in the corner. They think that's how you do it. Like right, in yeah. order to discipline them, yes. you put people in the corner and that's right, how it exactly. breaks this kind of yes. behavior. Um, so it doesn't even have to have like this malicious thought behind it. Although the action itself could yeah. still be malicious exactly. in its nature. Right. Um, so by the way, I want to mention here, Flu Shice, he said, I never recognized teasing as bullying. Honestly, it didn't, it didn't ever hit me. Uh, I think I wasn't aware enough uh, for it to matter if it did happen. That's right. a I did personally. So when I got teased, I thought of it as kids were bullying me um, and I never liked it. And, but the thing is, is that I also recognize like a lot of character building in my entire life. Mostly I think came from things that happened to me that I didn't like um, because it, it, it puts you in a position to where you, you know, have to maybe change yourself. Uh, like I said, not even to acquiesce to what you're being bullied about. It's not like if somebody says, Hey, you have your, fat or something because it's like it's not that you have to lose weight in order to change from that you just can become a better communicator and have a better 
you know, basically be right. funnier. Fucking joke about well, something about them. Well, I mean, I'm saying yeah. that's, no, no, that, yeah, yeah. that's what happened to me. Yeah, so then that ended up, yeah. that ended up slowly. Well, not even because it is real that, hey, I'm pretty comfortable in confrontational situations. Like, honestly, I don't really right. get that fucked up with them because I experienced that with teasing a lot. And then I also experienced that with like, just other things like yeah. as far as like at work or whatever so uh i am really comfortable with conf confrontation i like it it's challenging it's actually yeah. fun to me at this point but when it was first yeah when the confrontation i would have I would have been adverse to confrontation at first actually so this wasn't like a necessarily a natural characteristic it was something that was built forcefully out of a response to what i the, you know the reactions i was getting to other people that were you know they're teasing or whatever yeah so um like I said, I'm not saying that we should encourage bullying, but I think like, and I think that when we see it, we should address it and things like that. But one to act like one, we could get rid of it. I think is probably not no, ever going to happen, but you can't um, get rid of anything. really, Right. Um, can't get rid of anything. Uh, well, I'm trying to think like uh, everything that be, illegal. Like again, yeah. like, like, like again, my, you know me, I always go extreme, but like, yeah. like it, it, everything that that's banned, illegal, whatever, it's going to happen. You're going to have people getting in fights. You're going to have somebody cross you. You're going to have, you know, people being assaulted, all this. But but obviously the objective is to kind of push the narrative to be don't do that as much as possible. Yeah. And again, like 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 I think there is a line between teasing and bullying. I think teasing yeah, is teasing and 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 all in good fun. Yeah. But once somebody then tells you like, hey, listen, man, this really bothers me. I think that's and, fair. And, and then yeah. it's like, hey, now yeah. it's not teasing no more. I think, but the thing is, I think tease. I, I, you know, I think we're in agreement on this, and that was a really good point to bring up. Which yeah. I see, by the way. Um, you know, I think that teasing can cross the line. So on its own, I guess I would agree with you. I don't think teasing by itself has to automatically be bullying, um, but it definitely can cross a line where right. it is still teasing, but now it's like a malicious exactly, bullying yeah. version of that. Um, and like I said, like with calling kids like fat hey. and shit like that, I don't like for me, I find that hard to believe. Like, I don't know. That just doesn't seem like maybe it's just because of my own personality. That's just not something I would I wouldn't tease people about shit like that, to be honest. Hey, hey man, when I'm, I'm not much of a teaser, though. I, I like to joke about shit, but I'm, I don't really feel like I'm much of a like teasing when, person. When, when I was in high school, by freshman, sophomore year, people I transferred. One of the reasons I transferred was you had do those year above me who played who started above me. He was the year above and like his friend group. And then his brother was a coach and he had other coaches kind of like jokingly always making references to where I should go play fullback or linebacker or guard. Yeah. You know, you're too short to play quarterback. You're too, you're, you're too fat to play quarterback. You're too slow to play quarterback, which I wasn't even slow. Wasn't fat. I mean, I was 195. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, five, nine, three quarters without shoes, but Hey, with cleats on, it's about I wonder, five. I wonder five, how many times the team has fucking cheated themselves out of like a player. That'd be a really good bro, quarterback bro, or something and, and, just because they were like heavier. So well, 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 the problem was it, and it wasn't like, I wasn't like, known to be good it was just that like there was just like that kind of there was a competitive it, but it was it was again out of not out of like the truth it was more just out of like a disrespect uh like we're a competitor so i have to bring you down in the way right and but what started happening was you start to believe that little bit of shit and you start yeah. to like no 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 but then you believe it so it was like hey like like i need to fucking like like get out like I went to competitions, won competitions, and I was like, "Hey, listen, man, like I, I need to get out of here, mm -hmm. like because like like this is killing me." Yeah. So like, but that that thought never really left, and it took for me to see the documentary that they did about like the hypnotism at my high school, yeah, to and then see the clips from me in high school, like being hypnotized to go like, "Oh shit!" And this was last year, and it's yeah. like, "Oh shit!" Like, the fuck did I think I was heavy? They got clips of you being hypnotized in the movie. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, because um, it was it was videotaped by parental consent. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Makes sense. Say so go back and. But no, sure I, I mean, but but that shit. So, so that's what I'm saying. Like 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 there are their ways. There are their ways. You know, shit. I was picked on by by females in high school for the gap in my teeth. I mean, a lot didn't care, but then there were ones that did, and for some reason, those rang louder than not. Yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, uh, shit. Sixth grade, you have, I I wore G unit South Poles oh, shady. Oh, Echo, all that shit, right? Well, only person in a really 96% white town, especially then in the early 2000s, mid-2000s, there weren't a lot of black kids in school. Yeah. So you're in this class, all white kids, you're the one that clearly stands out. Nobody yeah. wants to be your friend to where like, I started to conform the way I dressed and, and acted 
And again, I only acted this way because my brothers and the people I hung out How with. How much of that do you think is a black. skill, though? Like when you're looking at it as a negative thing, you're like, but you kind of learn to do that, and that becomes a skill. Like there are certain environments. Or, or, I became a chameleon in a way. I, I learned how to adapt based off of who do I'm. Do you think around. that's a skill, or do you think that doesn't have any utility? It's a skill. Okay. But again, I mean, but that's what I'm saying. Like, like there are lines. Like I, w- I don't think I was ever necessarily like really bullied to where I was depressed. Now, if things continued and just continued and got harder and harder, yeah, like I think that there are ways, and you have worse ways. You have people who are getting punched, people who are getting hit. There's the money's getting stolen. Well, here, let me read this comment real quick because what you're literally touching on. So I want to make sure I highlight what Flu saying here. Uh, I meant that, and this is him talking about uh, doesn't seeing he doesn't see teasing as bullying. I meant that that like personally, I do see it as bullying. Just that any teasing I received wasn't taken to heart. I suppose it's because no one has ever tried putting hands on me to try bullying. So right. what you're talking about, uh, I never felt a real threat. Right. Uh, that's probably a huge factor. Big factor. Yeah. And, and that's kind of like, um, like, like, yeah, like you're a freshman on the football team. They try to put you in the trash can. Right. Yeah. I never had any. And that's like that. normal. Like, like, that, that, especially as Charlotte, especially yeah. with like, like the seniors, like I have like my big brother was in that group. So it was kind of yeah. like I grew up with them. I knew them. So they were kind of like trying to like fuck with me. I'm a freshman on varsity. So it's kind of like you got fucked with. Did they fuck with the other kids? Um, One of the other freshmen. Yeah. Like they were. So and, and, and then, and then the other freshman. So you had one freshman that was a uh, like five star yeah. <laughs> upcoming five star with the Clemson. Nice. He didn't get much. And then the other one was a coach's son. He didn't get much. But then me and the other, yes. A lot of kids. But it's like, interesting because like growing up and I don't want to spend too much time on this part because, uh, I think that we have we were talking about something interesting here, but um, I remember like getting to high school. I thought that that was like literally that, that was gonna be a thing. I was gonna have to fight for my life on certain days of the year, but nobody ever, ever, ever tried like putting me in a trash can. I like, I don't know if you remember the Hey Arnold episode yeah. where all the kids were doing that. So I had that kind of idea that oh, when you get to high school, there's times that you got hazed. I mean, I, th- I think in a lot of shows that we watched growing up, that was oh, it was a big thing, yeah. And- so and again, it, again, like I, I accept that I fought it off. No, but well, my and, point being, it was funny. I, I me. didn't experience. I, I want, flew. Let me know about you. Anybody else in the comments? I'm curious because that was not something that I experienced, and it sounds like right. you experienced it kind of like acutely with the football team. Yeah. So not from a school standpoint. Right. Now, so now, curious, now like, to turn that when I was a senior, I didn't do shit to a freshman. Like I did not haze. I want a freshman to feel like as part of the team as. Like, yeah, I, I think that that with. That any way to build a good culture is to have everyone kind of feel like they they belong. Yeah. So like I didn't I didn't participate, but like I I've said this before. Most of my fights were just someone being bullied, and then me basically saying like, "Hey, listen, man, like like I'm gonna be the one to step up because like like you got to see what it feels like to be powerless." My yeah. son, the one like one beating like like time I've ever gotten in his ass yeah. was he bullied a kid in school, and it was that he fought the kid he, the kid bit him and he fought back. And I was like, I was like, well, shit, you never fought back for any other kid that, that's ever done anything to you. Yeah. And so what was the difference? And then, and then it was just that he, he was like five, six. And he's like, and he said that basically like, like he knew he could win. And so like, I, yeah, like he had to get into him and just basically make him feel powerless. And on, scared. You did that. Who? You did that? My son did that. And then oh, I'm okay. getting into him because basically. No, but you said you got into him. Oh, yeah. Made him feel powerless. Yeah. Made him feel scared. Scared. Yep. You don't okay. hurt him. So but, hold on. Well, so what is that? It, it, it's, it's, it kind of sounds like bullying a little bit. But, but yeah. But, and and that, that was that was like. That, that was the point. That was the point to make him feel. <laughs> so you feel like it's OK then in that case, like to bully your own kid. If if it's like if you feel like they're you're doing it with some kind of essentially intent. eye for an eye, right? Like like you bully this kid, so let me show you, so that way you understand that like you do not want to be a fucking bully. Yeah. Because again, like like so so maybe so my, it makes him feel like I want to be the bully. I never <laughs> want to get bullied again. Maybe <laughs> no. But but like like for example, the the one time that like I really like am disappointed in myself was yeah. Uh, kindergarten first grade, one of my friends won an award. He's a heavier kid, and uh, I put cow in his name instead of like his his name is calvin and i said calvin and my dad was behind me he pulled me out of the award ceremony yeah. and fucking reamed me like grabbed me by my shirt like reamed me out big time like as far as you can go in public it was just basically yeah. like he's like if i ever ever hear you like pick on someone again like he's like son i will fuck you up and i listened to it i never again yeah Fucking like like I, I made it a, a, per, a point to be like a different way, so that's where it yeah. was like for my kids. So that's well, where it's like I feel like like all of this kind of necessary kind of a, parenting. Okay, hold on, hold on, because you're, you're I, this is really interesting. So 
you kind of had this you said this about abuse earlier though you said like it wasn't that so it wasn't like your type of style of abuse and i'm not saying that you're an abuser by the way <laughs> be very clear. But i'm just saying like you know because yeah. we all have like like my dad did shit like that plenty of times but it's like um i don't know so it's it's like that is probably as physically and mentally imposing as telling your kid to go stand against the wall that was the example you used earlier okay so it's like don't you kind of feel a little bit like you're kind of like perpetrating or perpetuating um you know like just what just the what was done to you like same kind of thing i like i don't want to call it abuse because no 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 you're yeah. you're 100 correct in the yeah. fact that it was the thought of that that this is what was done to me because well and it worked and it, and it worked and that's what it was so i now my dad went further than i did with a few things so but i knew that i i was more afraid to get in trouble early on so because i was afraid of what my dad would do which then made me understand why mm. and then respect it now yeah. my dad was not a there now i'm good at finding like like putting pieces together my yeah. dad was not good at explaining me personally the moment i did it i i i i hugged him i told him i'm sorry i said you know this is my reasoning. This is how important this is. And again, it was kind of just like, like a like a wire. Now he does he gotcha. bring it up? Oh yeah, he brings it up. He's like, Dad, remember that time <laughs> you fucked me up? <laughs> no. Again, I didn't hit him. Yeah, but I mean, I put my 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 pressure on his on his you know yeah, chest a little bit. Feel yeah. He wasn't the strongest guy in the room. Ex exactly. He yeah. he had to understand that. Hey man, listen man, like like this is what it is. So, um, now I have a very sweet kid. Do you, do you regret that at all, or do you feel like you handled that? I, you I feel like that. I know I, I don't regret it. Okay. Again, uh, well, but, okay. I don't spank my son. Let's not use that strong of a word. Do you wish, looking back, that you would have handled it at all differently? No. Okay. I, I understand the optics. I understand how it sounds. Okay. Now, understand that I am a talk it out parent. Yeah. Okay. I am not a. I my son does not get spanked. Uh, my son, when he sees me, the first thing that's all he does. Is, I love you all day. Okay. Nice. We are very loving but yes i do believe in when shit hits the fan mm -hmm. there has to be a, a a sense of sternness there has to be a sense of fear in a way because fear does lead to understanding and respect in a way mm. then there's a line and again a lot of life is there's a thin line do you think that there's also something to be said that composure and like not letting yourself get to that point so now like, that's true and so i still like one thing for me with and now yeah. i have a daughter so it's probably a little different so yeah like, you know what i mean i don't know how if i had a son maybe i'd be like i need to smack daughter. this motherfucker right in the face it's all right bro <laughs> but like for me i think about it like hey i never <laughs> want her to handle the situation in reality I, now she's gonna have to like i'm gonna make sure that she's physically prepared to handle herself but i never really want her to handle a situation like that i don't think like getting physical is really ever the best way to handle the situation. Correct. So I will always prevent myself from going to that level with her, at least to this point, I haven't been able to um, because of that. Cause I'm like, no matter how mad she is and she doesn't follow this uh, creed, by the way, she will slap the fuck out of a motherfucker. She gets too upset. But, uh, but I never really want her to uh, express herself in that way. Um, so therefore I feel like, and I've had this conversation with her mom and like, as far as like parenting, like, cause I like to get, and that's why I'm, in, I'm interested to hear your feedback on this. Um, but yeah, like it, how you handle a situation is always like your son. He's, he took note of that. He took note that you lost, or maybe he's not, not going to view it as you lost your temper. I don't no, know. Yeah, no, I did. Okay. Well, okay. And, so, and, and I explained that. Yeah. Yes. And, and for him, mm -hmm. like that, you kind of like taught him something through making him like you, you even said fear you. So scared of you. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't know. Like you know, they're going you're going to take a lot from that. And I, and this is probably every kid's different cuz for me the situations that I actually took the most from with my upbringing were probably moments that were like not physical at all. And there were times that were physical. But like moments were actually like there was I was surprised by the amount of compassion that I was shown in the situation. So like for example, I got in trouble doing some shit that I shouldn't have been doing, hanging out with people I shouldn't have been hanging out with. I got in trouble with police and shit. Uh, my dad picked me up from that. We went home. Oh, he didn't slap me. I oh, no, I fully yeah. expected him to slap the shit out of me and fuck fuck me up. But he literally just said, 
I'm I'm disappointed that mm-hmm. you got in trouble uh, doing that. And then it even now, honestly, makes me a little emotional to think because, like I said, to know how he reacted to other things. Of course, I expected him to literally fuck me up and kick right. me out of the house. Well, well, um, and but he did it because there was like recognize that I fucked up, but then also recognize like one how hard that your kid is being on themselves most times. Mm-hmm. Like when I get on, I've never f- hit my daughter ever, but she broke my glasses actually last week. You should have seen. She already knew. I didn't have to say anything, and I did afterwards. And I that I probably regret how I even handled that. I was a little too upset. Um, but she broke my glasses, and then she immediately was punishing herself immediately. So it's just, I don't know. No. So so again, she yeah. she's still really young. So yeah. Obviously, like like you teach compassion and and empathy and and how to be apologetic. And great. Yeah, and, and restra- no, yeah, like like you treat all you teach all of that. I think that there's a, an age mm. where of consciousness of understanding where yet yeah, there again this isn't your 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 kid didn't clean their room so you spank their ass. Yeah. This isn't your your kid spilt milk so you sure. smack him in the back of the head. Yeah. This I I mean I mean all that is just Well, what was the situation with your son? I just want to make sure I what was the Okay, so situation? so he he got in the he got, I remember now. Yeah. He got an altercation, got an altercation with altercation another kid because the, the kid bit him. It, no, my bad. So, so the kid that would bite him, he never retaliated against. Oh, got gotcha. you. Okay, my bad. It was a kid that that pushed him, that that he then like hit. So that's where I was like, like, like why? And then with the yeah. note, it kind of went a little deeper. I forget, yeah, yeah, but okay. I knew he bullied the kid. Like I, I, okay. I just I knew, and that's why I asked him. I said, "What was it about him that made you like like go back?" And he just stood there, and I said, "Is it because you knew you could beat him?" Yeah. And he was just like he said yes, and that's where it was just like, dude, like I, I it made me sad, Sorry, little bitch. <laughs> no, no, it made me sad, but like, like that's where I was like, man, like I have to kind of like show him that bullying makes like the other person feel so powerless. Sure. Yeah. And yeah. if you're not put in that position, then yeah. then you don't know. I just wonder if you so like, because he was in that position, he got bit by some kid, he was bullied in that instance, didn't respond. So I could see. I th- yeah, there's not. I'm not even. I'm not trying to criticize. I'm really just saying it's just interesting to think about. No, I get so that. So it's like, but um, this is just real life shit. Yeah, you know, real shit. So, so it's like, yeah, go ahead. It, like, like I thought about like like the whole like if he got arrested, and it's like, yeah, if you were to get arrested one day, like like what would hitting him do? It's not yeah. like 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 he would need someone in his corner because obviously he's gonna feel like shit. Nobody enjoys being arrested. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, like correct. yes, un- he needs to understand that you're not okay with it. But he also needs to understand that he's not thrown out of your life. And that was kind of the thing. Like, 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 listen, like, I'm sorry. This is how it is. And yes, like I, and I've told him this, I don't handle my emotions as better as the best uh, that I should. I get, again, I'm an emotional reactor. I get loud. Sure. I don't get violent. But I get loud. Yeah. Um, And that's everyone in my family. So him and my grandfather, my grandfather is a, I'm going to poke the bear, poke the bear. Like they argue about Godzilla. Parker loves Godzilla. Yeah. Pappy has to uh, like like hype up King Kong. King Kong, fuck you him know, up. You know, and then ha- King right now Godzilla's his sidekick. You know, so Parker, his reaction is, stop it, and starts like screaming at him, and it's like, and I'm like, hey, listen, man, like like you have to like learn how to like communicate better. So, yeah, yeah. like he isn't someone that's violent. He isn't someone that like takes that. I, I mean, like like I said, it's not something like. You spank your kid. I do understand. I do think that, especially with boys, yeah. there are times where they have to understand that they are not the toughest, yeah. most baddest dude on the fucking planet. Because, dude, my dude, my sure. son thinks, and I swear to God, up to now, that he would not be able to be abducted. <laughs> it's impossible to do that. He yeah. thinks that he hits so hard, yeah, and that he can just fight because because yeah. he would win the play fight. So I had to put a, a headgear on him. We had to fuck him up one day. I, I, I had to give him some gloves, <laughs> and this is his reason. And Bucky just gave him a light little what he said? jab. He, he, I mean, was he like, "Oh, okay, I see." Okay. Well, the next time we, we when we went to go like start again, he's like, "He's like, you can't hit me." Oh, and he's like, "Could he's you like, imagine if he was like, if you hit him, and then he was like, oh, I now I know I can't get abducted. Yeah. Don't are pussy.' Yeah, no, okay, like I didn't <laughs> clock him. I just gave him like a little like a like, go. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. But he, Sorry. but it's just like I think with boys are different. Girls, I don't know. But I will say this, you know, you know, the people in life and we all know the people in life that, you know, have never been smacked in the mouth. They've never been hit. Yeah. That they, they think that life. Oh, th- there are hey. no consequences to anything you well, say or do. My bad, man. I missed this question. My fault. I had it up. And then we started talking. I actually, this is an interesting question. Yes, I yeah. am. 
Yeah, he said, so are you y'all the oldest boy sibling? So yeah, that's a that's a yes for me as well. Yes. And I definitely fucked my younger siblings up. So um, you know, I, I, I know a lot of what we were talking about. I can imagine what you why you were asking, but I'm curious if if you want to elaborate on that as to why you're asking, but um, maybe how your dad handles you versus other kids. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. Interesting that I'm curious because, because me because that could have played into that. So my older sister, she, her mom, like left my dad and then married some rich dude in Jacksonville, came back when she was five with a big time lawyer, took her. So like, we only saw my sister for like 10 years, every summer and every other Christmas. Yeah. So, and then she decided as a teenager to move with us. So to say that is just, just just to paint the picture that she didn't get disciplined much. Yeah. My little sister is five years younger than me. Now, this is just my household that I grew up in. And then my other siblings I won't get into. But so she uh she was like that, that's my mom, my birth mom, her first. And she did not like she was not disciplined much. And when she would be disciplined, she enjoyed it because she just go to her room and sleep. Yeah. But she's been like smacked once. And that was like as a teenager. My mom, I'm so happy my mom did it. Yeah. My little brother Mikey is nine and a half years younger than me. And he got in trouble one time, got yelled at one time in his life. And it was my dad. My dad misunderstood the situation. Oh, damn. But he's never been. And it was because he was just on point. Was he? Well, he saw me yeah. get my ass beat oh, a lot. So he was just like, oh, yeah, I don't want yeah. that. And also, my dad like changed his parenting style after me. Yeah. And that was the same no, where it was well, like, I was like the guinea pig of like discipline. Well, to be clear, just I want to be clear real quick. Uh, my so, the, he, no, dude. my siblings got fucked up. I would say worse. Oh, <laughs> so no, dude, my, they my went opposite. They got angrier. <laughs> Buddy, I fucking, and like I said, I was man, fucking them up. I, got, uh, I love my dad. My dad was yeah. loving, but fuck. Dude, yeah. Yeah, I didn't really, I think, <laughs> yeah, I didn't have that bad of a situation as far as that goes. Well, like, you know, when I was young, that kind of shit would happen, and then there would be a few times through like my teen years where things would bubble up, as uh, you know, I think tends to happen. Well, bend and, over uh, a knee. You de- you ever had you ever did that one? Uh, like I said, I was really I really don't remember a lot of that. I know that I did, but I mean, also I had since um, my. Uh, but yeah, definitely my younger siblings. It's interesting. I I feel this comment by the way, which I'll read in case anybody's just listening. Uh, Flu Shicey says. Firstborn sons, uh, even mine, get the young, inexperienced uh, parent first. It's a different upbringing. Very much. Yeah, so. I definitely, I definitely agree with that. And there were a lot of things in that in my upbringing that were uh, different. But um, yeah, as far as like the physicality, I gotta say, my younger siblings were definitely still getting their and, ass and, beat. And, um, yeah. and, and I will say also, being a young parent. Yeah. So, so being somebody who is 22, 23, 24, 25, mm-hmm. and you're raising that young kid, it, Yo, you're, you're, man. you're growing up with your kid, right? Yeah. Like, like you guys are growing up together. You're learning how the fuck you even are supposed to become an adult. So you're going right. through all this shit. You're, yeah. you're, you're living on your own and you're struggling. Yeah. Like, like there's just a lot that goes into it. So listen, man, like I don't hold it against now again, I think there's again, just like the bullying to teasing. Yeah. There's a fine line between somebody like this different discipline styles sure. and then somebody being abusive to the child. Yeah. I, I like like I I think well, I mean and even individual moments yes. could be more questionable yes. than others. Right? 100%. I mean, like, and and just like in life like like you're going to o- go overboard at times. Like no sure. one like 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 it is what it is. Like I said like, glasses thing I didn't even touch her but I was steaming. Kind of I was kind of mean. I was like, right. you know, do not. It's just happened before. So I was like, do not do this. You don't understand how much of an issue this is. Like it costs money. Like now we'll have to, and I won't be able to see, you know. So I told her straight up, no park tomorrow because I can't keep track of you at the parks. Like so, it's like I'm not gonna go to the park, fucking Damn. blind. Uh, but I was just keeping it real do, with her. Uh, do, do, do you respect the hand or no? No, no, not yeah. really, not really. I just said her. She yeah. respects me so much. That's yeah. the thing. That's a, like if I tell her, hey, it's time to sit down. She knows when it's different. And hey. It's like, I, yeah. No, I will say that because like like Parker, bro, I've never I've never had an issue with him. Like if I say do something, I have never had a yeah. I'm not oh saying I never had an issue. But. No, well, I'm saying like 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 since he's been like probably five, six, yeah. like like in the past five years where it's like, Yeah, I need you to go do this, or hey, go do this, or he's yeah, oh my god, or whatever, or like like he doesn't give me much attitude. My says Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. No, really? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. He's 
again, I don't Love know, it. man. You can say the darndest things, guys. I, I, I do. They take I, the Lord's in name. They don't. They, 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 they take it in vain. They don't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> but I do, I do kind of wish at times that I was that that fucking like Phil Dunphy type dad, where it's yeah. just like, nah, man. Like I couldn't imagine ever getting loud at my kid. Yeah, you know, because because I do I do feel like that is too much of me, where it's like I get too loud. Sure, like I get mad. I I am a cusser, obviously, and that's I feel like might be an issue. But again, he's a kid who I heard him telling his friend that he doesn't plan on cussing till he's maybe seventeen. And I was like, oh man, what up? You gotta see how that changes. Yeah, sure thing, yeah. buddy. I don't know that changed. That Tw- changed twelve years old. You're gonna be, man, fuck my dad. That changed a lot in my life, and there were times that I would stop cussing because I would feel so guilty about cussing. Yeah. You had that too. Uh, you felt junior guilty about it? high school, I started okay. saying like like ah and shit yeah. and fa. <laughs> started fucking shortening the words. Uh, like, Blue Jacks, he says. Uh, then you got to DDT the child through the living room coffee table. Yeah, <laughs> way, there might be a situation there. Who knows? You know who knows? That's why I say I don't want to speak from a place of total ignorance. I'm just speaking from my experience at this point. Your kid is a little bit older, and like I said, it's a boy, so I can imagine. Uh, uh just different scenarios who knows how i'd react it's just interesting to talk about so i appreciate your honesty to be honest uh paul really dope conversation um uh, birdman what you say about your eyes um probably talking about because i have sunglasses honestly sometimes these lights just kind of like after a while they start to give me a headache a little bit so this prevents that most of the time um but yeah that's what that's what's up with the glasses it pretty much prevents uh, headaches when we're going um so here let's go ahead and we'll get into some of the topics uh because we do have several to get into but uh, i have some more videos to talk about